guys welcome back to another video this week i'm glad you guys are back for a brand new recipe today we're going to be making a recipe requested by a dot soul i believe it's her name on here on youtube she requested this recipe under the comments for beef and potatoes a recipe that i posted a couple months ago so today we are going to be making different smoothies all the smoothies that i'm going to be showing you guys you can change them for the quantity you can add more of something add less of something add more ingredients if you want them remove anything that you don't want on them as always with my recipes you can change them to however it feels better for you i do recommend that you guys freeze the fruit or the vegetables ahead if you want your smoothies to be a little bit more on the colder side since i don't like to add any ice to my blenders just because i feel like it destroys the blenders itself but it's up to you guys if you guys want to add any ice or i have been meaning to try freezing up some milk like on the ice cubes and then dumping that into the smoothies i have been meaning to do that but i haven't had the time to um if i do ever in the future i'm going to leave it down in the comments to see how i liked it but before we get started with the recipe but if you guys have any requests on recipes that you would want me to make in the future just leave them on the comments down below or if you guys have any questions or concerns about any recipes just leave them on the comments down below and i'll get back to you with another comment as always don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel to keep this channel growing so let's get started for our first smoothie we're going to be using a handful of spinach one to one and a half cups of strawberries, one tablespoon of chia, one whole banana, and one cup of water. We are going to be adding our spinach first. It's just a handful of it. A cup of strawberries, one banana, and one tablespoon of chia. Lastly, we're going to be adding water and we're gonna blend this very good. This drink is not sweet at all. The bananas do give it a little bit of the sweetness to it, but it doesn't give it a lot. If you still wanna keep this healthy, you can also add one tablespoon of honey. That's gonna make it sweet. And again, you can freeze your bananas and your strawberries to make it a little bit more colder. And I call this the green smoothie. It's perfect for kids because you don't taste the spinach. I would serve this on a color cup with the color straw. Let them have it if they don't like the green on there. Um, I promise you it doesn't take anything like spinach. So it's perfect for kids. For our next smoothie, we're going to be needing one third of a cup of oatmeal, one whole banana, one cup of strawberries. For this recipe, you can use almond milk, coconut milk, or whole milk. I'm gonna be using coconut and almond milk on sweet. Again, you can also add honey to this to make it taste a little bit sweeter and freezing your bananas and strawberries or adding ice if you want this to be colder. We're gonna be starting off by adding our one third cup of oatmeal, our whole banana, our strawberries, and about one to one and a half cups of milk. And we're going to be blending this for about a minute. For this drink, you can also add yogurt, plain Greek yogurt if you would like. For the next smoothie, we're going to be needing one third of a cup of oatmeal, one and a half cups of mixed berries, one whole banana, almond milk, coconut milk, or whole milk, one and a half cups. We're going to start off by adding our banana, our mixed berries, our oatmeal, our milk, and we're gonna be blending this for about a minute. If you can do this just with blueberries, this recipe would be much better. The only thing is that blueberries are very expensive, or at least right now, and it doesn't come with a lot of blueberries. So if you can find them just blueberries on the frozen aisle, blueberries by itself would work better with this recipe. And again, these mixed berries right here are frozen, or you can add ice cubes to make this cooler and add honey if you wanna make it sweeter. This recipe is perfect for kids. Onto the next smoothie, we're going to be making this a little bit more on the veggie side. One cup of carrots one whole orange, one banana, and one and a half cups of water. We're gonna start off by adding our carrots, and I'm going to show you a quick way on how I peel my oranges. We're just gonna cut our oranges in half, not all the way, just the skin, and then we're gonna turn it 90 degrees so we can kind of make an X with the previous cut, and we're gonna start cutting again all around, just the skin. Once we have that ready, we're gonna start peeling, and it should come very easily off. As you can see, I'm gonna have four orange peels at the end, and I have found that this is the easiest way to do it. I just wanted to show you guys my trick on how I do it. Once I have this peel, I'm gonna cut it into small chunks, and we're gonna also add that to our blender. We're gonna add our banana, our water, and we're gonna blend this for about a minute. Again, this is one of the healthy smoothies for kids. I will just disguise this smoothie on a color cup and straw and give it to them, or you can just tell them that it's orange juice. 
And this is the end result for all of our smoothies. As you can see, they are very colorful and very healthy as well. None of them have added sugars to this, and these are with 100% fruit, nothing else mixed into this. To any of these smoothies, you can also turn them into popsicles. Just put them on popsicle molds, put them on the freezer for a couple hours, and then just give them to your kids. This would be a nice, healthy way to give them popsicles and you can make them at home for much cheaper and you know what's going into your popsicles. Also, for any of the smoothies, if you don't, if you feel like they're not sweet enough, you can add one tablespoon of honey. You can also add Greek yogurt to any of these besides the orange one. The green smoothie, since it has chia in here, that's very good for a fiber. It gives your digestive system a little push on it. The green smoothie is the one that I consume a lot more, just to give me a little extra boost of fiber on me. But my favorite smoothie of all times that I did not add on here, because it's just way too easy and way too simple, is just banana with milk and vanilla. You guys should try that. It's just those three simple ingredients. And if you feel a little crazy, you can add some cinnamon on there, a cinnamon powder. That is my favorite smoothie of all. Sometimes if I don't have time, I'll just add the banana and milk. That's it, nothing else. My boyfriend calls it my simple smoothie, but to me, it's the best thing ever. It's so simple, but I still love it. So again, if you guys have any questions on the smoothies or any suggestions for upcoming videos, don't forget to give me a comment down below and I would reply back to you. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Share with your friends if you loved it. Subscribe to our channel so you can be part of our family. Remember, we are posting more constantly now, so keep an eye out for future videos. And this is it for today's video. We'll see you guys next week with a brand new recipe. Bye!